Russia and HAL are reviving the IL-276 medium transport aircraft proposal for the IF's multi-role transport aircraft program, making it the fourth contender. Originally scrapped in 2016 over engine disputes, the IL-276 now features a FADEC-enabled engine, co-developed with India's GTRE, promising 60% local production and short takeoff and landing capability with a 20-ton payload. The aircraft bridges the gap between lighter C-295s and heavier C-17s, offering the IF a Goldilocks tactical airlift solution. After the success of Operation Sindor, DRDO has begun developing Raksha Kavach, a multi-layered air defense system, unveiled at Aero India 2025. Designed to counter aircraft, drones, crews, and ballistic missiles, it features an 8x8 mobile platform with a 40mm cannon, man-portable air defense systems, radar and electro-optical and infrared sensors for all-weather, autonomous operations. Compared to Israel's Iron Dome, Raksha Kavach emphasizes mobility, modularity, and indigenous technology, strengthening India's self-reliant air defense under the Atmanur Barbarat Initiative. The Indian Air Force is accelerating plans to deploy advanced VHF radars to detect stealth aircraft like China's J-20 in mountainous border areas where current systems fall short. Operating in the 30 to 200 MHz band, these radars can pierce stealth coatings and cover gaps exposed during Operation Sindor. Mounted on high-mobility trucks, they'll integrate with Integrated Air Command and Control System for real-time defense. DRDO and private industry are developing indigenous versions, though experts note VHF offers broad detection but lower accuracy, requiring hybrid radar pairing. DRDO's Electronics and Radar Development Establishment, LRD, is developing the navigation radar for integrated combat suite to enhance Indian Navy submarines. This stealth radar supports navigation, surveillance, and surface warfare by detecting low signature targets and providing precise data for torpedoes and missiles. Currently in integration and testing, NRICS will become a core part of the integrated combat suite, boosting next-gen submarines like Project 75I and Project 77. It strengthens India's underwater combat edge and aligns with Atmanur Barbarat. The Ministry of Defense plans to issue a tender for up to 80 medium transport aircraft in the 18 to 30 ton category to replace aging AN2s and IL-76. Aimed at bridging a critical airlift gap, the program stresses local production and technology transfer under Atmanur Barbarat. Key contenders include Embraer C-390M with Mahindra, Lockheed C-130J-30 variant with TSL, and Airbus A-400M with TSL. Valued at over $5 billion, deliveries could begin by 2030. The Indian Air Force plans to induct three squadrons of the indigenous Quick Reaction surface-to-air missile, rebranded as Anant Shastra, to strengthen its air defense network. Designed by DRDO with BL and BDL, the system offers 360 degrees coverage, a 30 kilometers range, and mobility on 8x8 trucks. It will protect vital bases and assets like S-400 sites against drones, helicopters, and cruise missiles. Deliveries may start by 2026, aligning with Atmanur Barbarat. India is set to locally manufacture GE's F-414 engines for Tejas MK-2 and AMCA under an 80% transfer of technology deal with HAL, marking a major step toward aerospace self-reliance. However, the full authority digital engine control software will remain under GE's control, limiting full autonomy. The $1.5 billion agreement covers 339-plus engines, with production starting in 2027. While HAL gains expertise in critical components and MRO, dependency on GE for FADEC updates poses strategic challenges.
India's fifth-generation fighter program, the AMCA, has gained momentum with seven major bids for its rupees 15,000 core full-scale engineering development phase. Firms like LNT, Tata, Mahindra, BL, and Godrich, along with foreign players from Russia and Israel, are competing for key roles in airframe, avionics, propulsion, and stealth systems. The Aeronautical Development Agency plans to start prototype fabrication by 2027, targeting a first rollout in 2028 and six prototypes within five years. With over 70% indigenous content, AMCA is expected to boost India's air power and aerospace ecosystem significantly. As India pursues fifth and sixth generation fighter engines, experts push joint ventures with global majors to speed up development, cut costs and gain best practices. The upcoming $7 billion Indo-French GTRE Safran deal for a 120 kN AMCA MK2 engine, with full tech transfer and IPR, is hailed as a breakthrough. Yet critics warn, joint ventures often deliver diluted tech, citing the stalled Kaveri program. Chronic underfunding, talent loss, and weak infrastructure fuel reliance on joint ventures, risking long-term dependency. Supporters argue, partnerships are pragmatic accelerators, while skeptics see them as a B-plus approach, masking systemic R&D shortcomings. The Indian Air Force is considering acquiring Russia's Su-57E stealth fighters, with plans for local production at House Nashik facility, famed for assembling MiG-21s and Su-30 MKIs. This move could strengthen IF squadrons, now below 32, by adding 36 to 48 jets equipped with advanced sensors and stealth features to counter China's J-20. Nashik, already producing Tejas MK-1A and HTT-40 trainers, is also primed for future AMCA production from 2034. While negotiations are in early stages, the plan promises over 60% local content, technology transfers, and a seamless transition from current projects to fifth and sixth generation fighters. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.